What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here and check out this new shader. This is the year one shader, the epic reward for everybody who's played up to a level 30 character during year one of Destiny or who's purchased both the Dark Below and the House of Wolves. So everybody who's done either of those things is gonna get this new shader and there's more. As you can see down here, we also got a brand new Sparrow and a brand new emblem. So these are available at the kiosk in the tower. So the emblem at the emblem kiosk, the shader at the shader kiosk, and so on. There's also gonna be a brand new ghost. It's not available yet because there's no place to pick those up yet. So hopefully tomorrow we're going to have some clarity on that issue, but for now, we're gonna have to be happy with these three items, and I gotta say, they look absolutely epic. I am absolutely in love with this shader. I think it looks phenomenal with every piece of gear I've tried with it. Let's go with uh, full Iron Banner gear and see what we come up with here. Uh, it's just, you know, I really love this kind of blacked out look. It's kind of this charcoal, real dark gray, uh, but it looks very, very good. It's the darkest armor I've seen in the game yet, and I think it just, it really, it's a nice reward. It's a nice VIP reward. I think Bungie did a good thing here. I think it's a really smart looking setup. Uh, the emblem, I'm not that huge a fan of. The tiger stripes are a little weird, but this Sparrow Man is really cool. So unlike something like the Grave Robber, you're actually gonna have a faster base speed with the Raven Steel, but actually you're gonna have lower max speed because it doesn't have that R2 boost. Uh, now. If you've ever upgraded a Sparrow, a Blue Sparrow, using the upgrade materials from Xur, you're gonna feel right at home here because it's basically the exact same kind of Sparrow. Uh, it looks very good in game. Let's pull it up in game so you guys can take a look here. It looks really nice. It's very well blacked out. It looks good. There's a little bit of green here on the seat, but for the most part, the thing is all black and it you know, it handles just like a legendary Sparrow would. It's got the tight turn radius, it boosts, it's got a faster base speed than something like Timebreaker or Grave Robber. It's actually my preferred Sparrow at this point. I do like kind of crashing the uh, the boosting Sparrows like the Grave Robber or the Timebreaker into things and making them explode at the right time. Uh, but I find these types to be a little more usable. So. Very exciting stuff today, guys. Definitely go to the tower, collect your VIP rewards. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you liked the video and hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.